Hey, what's going on, brothers? It's your boy L. L excels. Excels the game. Excels my name. Make sure you guys go ahead, excel, and improve your life today. Now, understand, guys, that most men fail to realize this. Most guys fail to realize that before a girl can even like a man, before a woman even decides to be with a man in, re in a relationship or marry a man or just fall in love with him, to be attracted to him, she has to respect the man first. Most guys fail to realize this. Most guys today in our dating market, guys want to go ahead and try to please girls left and right, try to make girls feel pedestalized. And guys, that is the wrong way to go about it. If you really want girls to be attracted to you, if you want to see more success in that aspect of your life, you're going to have to realize girls are going to have to respect you first. And this is not easy to do. But guys, pay attention to these attributes that I'm about to list. Maybe you guys have experienced this before, that you've carried yourself in this certain way and you've done these certain actions and these codes that I've lived. I'm, I'm, I'm about to drop some knowledge, guys, that you've done this, that you, you've probably attracted girls, but maybe somewhere down the line you fell off and you, you didn't carry yourself with you know authority as a man and respect for yourself, guys. So let's just jump right into this, man. And, but before first, before anything, make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you appreciate the content. Guys, understand the first thing that girls pay attention for in a man is, are you a man of your word? Okay, do you say what you mean and mean what you say? What, is, what am I talking about here? What I'm trying to say is, if you tell a girl that you have certain standards, that you... Don't tolerate girls, your girlfriend or any girl you're dating going to the club, going out to parties, going out to the bar, and she te starts to test you, test your limits, and she starts doing these things, starts not listening to your authority, guys, guys, please don't be scared to walk away. This is actually going to attract her. This is going to make her realize, oh, shoot, she's actually with, in the presence of a real man. She's talking to a real man. Most guys don't have enough value to bring to the dating table to be able to tell a girl, hey, listen, you're, you're not going to be doing that. And the thing, the crazy thing, guy, guys, the crazy thing is that if we as all collectively as men, if we came together and we just told the girls that we're dating or the girls that we're talking to, like, I'm not, I'm not tolerating this. Guys, all these girls would come, in li come into line and start listening, but we don't. So it makes dating more easier for the ecocentric few for the ecocentric few the chosen few guys because we decided okay you know what instead of focusing of putting all my aspects and all my energy into just dating this girl and pleasing her i'm focusing on myself and that's going to be one of the attributes that girls look out for guys next thing that you want to carry about yourself is you're not with no foolishness you don't play games guys so if a girl let's say that you're getting ready to go out on a first date with a girl and you tell her, okay, we're going to, to meet up at this diner. I'm going to take you to this diner and it's just going to be me and you. And we're going to meet up there at eight o'clock PM, whatever. Right. And let's say a couple hours beforehand, before the date, she come back, she comes back and texts you, Hey, listen, I want, I'm going to bring a friend with me. Is that okay? Or can, can we meet up somewhere else? Can we go to TGI Fridays instead? Guys, be firm. And what you say, tell this is this is applies to say what you mean with mean what you say. So guys, don't be scared to be like, don't be scared to lose the date and say, you know what? No, I told you this time, this is what it is. You're, you're not gonna, you can't let girls play with your time and your energy. Once they realize they can do this, guys, they don't respect you. They don't respect the guys that kiss their ass, guys that put them on a pedestal, that kiss the floor that they walk on, guys. Girls want to be able to chase a guy down. They want to be able to do this whole. Hold a guy down. Okay, so you got to carry yourself with some respect. This shows that you have respect for yourself, that you have respect for your time and the things that you do in your schedule. And you give her a chance. If she's not with it, then okay, you let her know, hey, I'm not with that. If you can't make it, then it is what it is. And don't be afraid to walk away. That is one of your powers as a guy is being able to walk away from any situation that does not align with what is for your goals or whatever is goal oriented for you guys. Okay. Another thing that girls respect is that you're busy. Okay. You're a busy man. You should be at least. Okay. If you're not busy, 
you got to at least be faking this. Because, guys, girls don't respect the guy with all the free time in the world. They don't respect the guy that's not working. Okay? It's just in her nature to realize, okay, my man is out here working. He should be able to be, be working to provide for the family, for me. And there's nothing wrong with that, guys. You got you got some feminine guys in the comments like, oh, no, it should be 50-50. Nah, I don't, I don't truly believe that, bro. Girls respect the guy that has more higher authority above her, man. And that's the way it should be. You should be able to provide more, okay? So you're busy with your time. You're not easily available. Girls, and this, guys, this makes them attracted to this, this, like, you know, mind attracts their mind because they're just like, what they start thinking is, damn, I wonder what he's doing. Like, he's always busy. Maybe he's out seeing other girls. And you may, you're probably not. You're really just probably out here just working. Or if you are seeing other girls, hey, good for you. You do what you do, bro. You, you're a man. You're dating. There's nothing wrong with dating, getting to know other girls. You tell her up front, like, listen, um, you're a busy guy. And maybe you are dating other girls. Let her know. Just be straight up, guys. There's no need to lie to girls, especially when you've been building yourself up. You tell her what it is. And she's with the program or she's not, okay? And she's not, then you have to let her go. And it is what it is. Another one will come around, guy. But your time is valuable, bro. You're not so easily accessible, right? This is this kind of correlates with, you know, when you tell her you're going to meet up at a place or for a date or whatever, you guys are going to do something that she has to value that time. So that way, because since you're so rare to get, her, like your time is so rare for her to get a hold of, Guys, when, when she links up with you for that date or she's coming over, guys, she's going to be infatuated with you. She's going to show you in that little bit of short period of time that she spends with you that she's going to show you, okay, I'm serious about you. I'm not going to screw this up. I want to have a great time with you. And y'all just have a great time together. And that's the way it should be, man. That's the dynamic how it should be. That she's going to be like, you know what? Any time I get with him is a win for her. It's, she has to cherish those moments. You want to make her cherish it. Because if you're a guy... You can tell her, if you tell a girl like, hey, I can see you any day. I don't got nothing planned for the weekend or my schedule's free for the work week. You could just come over afterwards. Guys, she's going to be like, okay, this guy doesn't got a lot going on for him. You got to understand, girls want to get with that successful guy. You got to be hustling. You got to be focusing on the books if you're in school. Or you got to be focusing on going, doing overtime at work if you're trying to stack up some bread. Or you got to focus on building up your business or whatever your, your passions and your goals Align with yourself. You got to be able to do that. You can't be distracted. You can't be distracted when a girl tells you she just wants to chill with you. And it is what it is, man. Okay. Another thing that girls respect about guys is you take control. Okay. And what do I mean by take control? I don't mean be a control if you can tell her, tell her, hey, no, you got to do this at this time. You got to wear this and all that. Well, you should be able to tell her what to wear, but you're not controlling her whole life, guys. You got to let her, you know, obviously let her live her life too. But you take control of situ most situations, right? So when it comes to dating, you're you're the guy that's going to delegate, okay, you know what? We're going here. You're telling her, we're going to the movies and this is what we're going to do. And then afterwards, you're coming, we, we're going to chill at my place. It is what it is. Or And you got to take control with, you know, financially too. And this is where most guys become not successful when it comes to dating girls because most guys want to think they. Most guys think that you know, fifty fifty is really going to work, and a girl's going to respect you. Guys, no, girls, they get so attractive the second that when the wait, waitress or waiter comes to the table, you just reach out your hand and you just take the bill. You don't say nothing. You just do it because this is, guys, this is one of the prerequisites of being a man. You have to be financially cap capable. If you're not, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, this is the time for you to build yourself up to become financially free, financially financially capable. To set yourself apart from other guys, bro. Okay, you want to be different. Think about this, guys. You want to just... To be attractive, you got to be different from what everyone else is doing. Most... We live in this, you know... this The quality society where, oh no, you know... I give her this and she can give me that. And nah, it's not the way it should be, bro. You should be able to provide for your girl. If you want an actual very long, successful relationship, you're going to have to be able to provide, guys. Okay? Another thing that girls respect is your security. What do I mean by this? Guys, I notice that most guys are very insecure nowadays, okay? It's just a fe it's the feminine agenda to make guys feel, you know, feminine and make girls feel more masculine. But guys, let's say, you know, you date a girl, right? Or you're talking to a girl, you're shooting a shot, right? And 
you know, there's a guy in the, and you're in the gym or wherever. It could, this guy should be anywhere. And there's a an, another attractive male pause, you know, maybe he's taller and he looks good too. And he walks by. You're not going to be insecure, bro. You're not insecure around other guys. You shouldn't be. Okay. You should be secure in yourself and who you are. Okay. Understand guys, everyone's life's different. Okay. Some things are out of your control. Okay. Some guys are going to be shorter than other guys. Some guys are going to be taller than other guys. It is what it is. Some guys are going to have more facial hair. Some guys are going to have longer hair, whatever. Don't matter guys. You got to be content with what you got. Now, obviously you got to maximize your looks, such as going to the gym, having a, a healthy diet, taking care of your skin, brushing your teeth, you know, just tied basic hygiene stuff and, you know, focusing on building up your physique, but don't feel insecure because maybe another a guy's driving a Lambo, right? Why, why should you feel insecure? That's his life, bro. That's his race. You let him do what you do. Guys, when, once people start budging into other people's lives and start comparing, you're, once you start comparing your life to other people, guys, you will never be happy. You will never feel successful because you're always going to want to strive to be like the next person. No, bro, this is why I always tell you, you have to compare yourself and, and battle the man in the mirror. Battle the man in the mirror to become better than who that person was yesterday. That's your only competition, bro. The person who you see in the mirror. Okay, it's not your best friend. It's not some guy at work. It's not going to be some guy at the gym. It's not going to be someone you see outside with you know, with a, a better physique or a better car or fi better financial status. You don't have to compare yourself to other people, bro. This is where most people, you know, feel sad, man, because comparison is truly the thief of joy. I used to do it. I used to compare myself to other guys. I used to feel insecure about my height, guys. But I realized, hey, this is something out of my control. So let me just be happy with what I got, okay? And let me maximize and optimize my features about myself. And once you start doing that, guys, once you realize that you can improve on your life this way, your insecurities are going to fall away. Once you're just focusing, once you focus on yourself, you're going to, guys, you're just going to live a better life. You're going to lead that kind of lifestyle where you're going to be able to improve every day. You're going to look back from a week ago and be like, damn, you know, I improved this week. Maybe I learned something new. Maybe I taught myself something new. Maybe my, my speech is becoming better. Maybe... You know, you started smelling good. Maybe you tried a new hairstyle. Who knows, guys? Your only competition is yourself, man. Don't ever feel insecure around other people. Okay? And girls, too. Don't let girls make you feel insecure if they tell you you don't got... If you don't reach, reach their ops and their, their prerequisites, guys. Because I'm be honest with you. Most of these girls aren't even worth, worth of dating. Let's be honest here. This is 2023. Most of the modern girls are done. Most of these modern girls are like getting trained. Uh, seeing guys, new guys every other month in a new relationship every other season or every other year, trash, bro. You don't you don't need to be concerned with that, man. You just need to be concerned with who that man in the mirror is and all these girls are going to flock to you, okay? Another thing, guys, that girls are attracted to is you're goal-oriented. You have hobbies. All your time is not allocated on her. Like I said previously, she wants a guy that has things going on in his life, okay? you're built. Maybe you have your own business. Focus on that. All your time can't just be spent on chilling with her, bro, because eventually you're going to, if you chill with a girl long enough and that's all you do and you, you don't focus on self-improvement, you don't focus on reading, you don't focusing, you're not focusing on watching and watching YouTube videos or optimizing how you speak and becoming more charming or whatever, taking care of your body. Guys, girls are going to be like, damn, this guy's really a couch potato. All he does is sit, he goes to work and he sits around all day. Like, girls aren't attracted to that, to that, guys. It's like I said earlier, when you tell a girl that you're free, oh, man, that turns them off. They hate that, guys. They hate a guy like that, man. Okay? Another thing that, that girls are attracted to, that they respect about guys, is you stop trying to please them. Oh, man, this is probably like what most guys don't realize. Most guys are out here, you know, they do things to please girls. And yes, I know it's true. We, we improve our life because we do want to attract better quality girls. You know, you want to attract prettier girls. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. But when you make your life focus on solely that, guys, girls are just, they can feel that energy. They're just... You just, you just look insecure, bro. It makes you look insecure when all you do is idolize chicks. That the only reason you're going to the gym is just to, you see chicks there 
And that way you try to shoot your shot at them. Guys, you got to be able to cut off the distractions. Once you're able to desexualize your brain and not focus on girls all day. Yes, girls are a motivation. I understand that. But once you focus on, okay, you know what? Eventually you're going to hit a point in your life like where you're just going to be like, you know what? I'm tired of living my same kind of lifestyle. I'm, you're tired of going to the club. You're tired of wasting money you know, shooting your shot at girls and, you know, taking girls on dinner dates and you're not a confident person or, and people are going to take, take control of you, bro. People are going to run over you, man. And it's sad, but it's true. It's very true. So just honestly, the best thing you could do in this life is just focus on you. Girls feel that energy on a guy. Once a girl realizes, yo, this guy, what he really does is he just improves his life. She's going to realize, damn, since he just, all he does is improve his life and he focuses on his lifestyle and, you know, reaching his goals, other girls are going to be attracted to him. It's just a domino effect. It's, that's what's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. So that's going to make the girls be more invested into you. Be like, you know what? I, I'm going to actually, I, they're going to respect you because they're going to realize like, damn, he can attract other girls. Most guys, you know, attract the girl and do everything they can to just please a girl, man. <sighs> That's where most guys go wrong. That's where they fail when it comes to, to these modern relationships. But not you, bro. You've been focusing on improving your life in every attribute. Going to the gym. Becoming more charming. Looking good. You know, you smell better. You conversate better. You're more happy. You're a more positive person. You're not negative. You're not focusing on people talking down on you. You're just goal-oriented. You're focused. You have tunnel vision. Keep that kind of mindset, bro. You will win, man. Just be a positive guy. That's the last thing girls respect about a guy is you're positive. Okay, most guys nowadays are very insecure, very negative guys. You ever just be, you, have you ever been around somebody and they're just negative and it like drains you and you're just like, damn, you know, he was so damn negative. It kind of just made me feel bad. He's so insecure in himself. It, it, it's kind of rubbing off on me, Pauls, but it's like his energy is like, nah, you got to keep that away from you, bro. Girls think the same way. They're just disgusted by that. But when a guy is happy, you know, when you're actually happy with your life and, you know, instead of looking at life glass half empty, you're more, you're at glass half full. Guys, life will become full circle. The energy you give out will come right back to you. Positivity. You're going to attract positive people into your life. Therefore, you're going to attract, you know, positive girls, you know, girls that aren't so, you know, cocky and about themselves. You're, you're going to attract an actual, a girl that's going to respect you. Okay, guys. And you do have to be a little cocky about yourself too. That's the last thing I want to put out. Be low cocky in who you are, bro. Don't feel ashamed because other people are insecure. No, nah, bro. If you've been improving your life, I'm not saying compare yourself to other people and tell yourself that you're better and above everyone else. No, nah, that's the wrong way to live life. But when you realize, you know what? You, you, I have been improving. Tell yourself this. You have to speak life into existence. So you tell yourself, you know what? You've been improving. You've been going to the gym. You've been staying consistent on your diet. You've been saving money. You've been finding new ways, new streams of revenue. You've been learning new skills, new talents by teaching yourself, by reading books. Guys, you should feel more happy about yourself. You should feel more cocky and, and be like, you know what? Since you accomplished that, you can, you can accomplish more. And girls love that. They smell that energy. That just exuberates success off you, bro. And that's one of the most top things that girls are attracted to the, the one of the most common things is your success your confidence and your ambitions man stay focused continue to excel guys you made it this far in my video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel follow the ig follow the twitter check out those links down in the description down below if you made it this far guys i appreciate every single one of you guys you guys are my motivation i couldn't have done this without you let's continue to excel every day